Hi everybody, this is a demonstration of the FX Preset Manager version 1.0. What this application is designed to do is for Fujifilm X and GFX series camera users who like to keep track and record their custom presets for their film simulations. So we're just going to go through some screens here and I'm going to show you the basic functionality. So we'll go through the onboarding screens. As you can see, you create a preset and you can also edit the preset and of course delete the preset. We're going to go ahead and hit the start button here. When we first open up, of course, there are no presets here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus button. I'm going to give my new preset a name. I'm going to call it my new preset. I'll give it a description. This is going to be a great image. And then what you do is you go through and record the settings from your camera. So I'm going to simulate some here, for example. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to say that the base type was, let's say, Eterna Chrome. I'm going to select that. I set the dynamic range to minus one. And I'm just going to go through and put some numbers in here so you can see them. And like I say, you would copy these off of your camera. Unfortunately, there's no link between this program and the camera. That would be fantastic. Uh, but this is just a way to record any of those presets on your camera. I have the Fujifilm X-T4 and it only allows me to record seven presets. That's why I invented this application, so that I could keep them stored with me and take them on the move. I'm going to say that it's got a strong grain effect. The color chrome effect, I'm going to say is off, and I'm also going to say the color chrome effects blue is on weak. I'm going to say that the white balance was set to 5400. The white balance red was set to zero in this case, the same for the blue. And you can leave any of these blank if you don't feel the need to record them. I'm going to say that the ISO was set to 800. And exposure compensation, I actually put this in as minus one stop because I wanted it slightly underexposed. If I wanted to clear all these settings out, I can hit the clear button at the bottom there. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. And you can see that my new preset now appears on my list. If I want to delete it, I can, of course, swipe to delete. I'm not going to do that right here. I can tap on the preset and see all of my settings that I've stored here for quick, easy reference when I'm out in the field or something like that. I can hit the pencil up in the corner to go and edit these pre presets and update them. Let's just change some numbers here just so you can see them. And I'm going to hit update. And then when I go back, you can see everything's updated. The other option that you have here right now, so you can list as many as you want in here. The other options in here right now, there are a help. You can hit the help in the website if you get stuck or you're looking for something there. And if you want to export these presets and keep them stored, they get stored in a file and you can just hit export presets and it will allow you to export them wherever you want on your device or send them somewhere else using the standard system share screen. So that's basically the application. I, there is some plans for lots of other features. For example, one of the features I'd like is to be able to store an image with each of the presets that I record here so that I can get a visual representation as a reminder for how the, you know, the preset looks. So that's one of the future features. If you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them. You can write to me, peter at peterwidham.com, and I would love to hear your, your thoughts on this. But that's a basic explanation of how this program works. I would love your feedback. It's going to be free on the App Store when it comes out. And like I say, if you're a Fujifilm X or GFX user, I think this is going to be greatly benefit you for storing those presets instead of writing them down in a book or a piece of paper or just trying to remember and losing them everywhere. This way you can take them on the go with you. So I hope this has been helpful. I'd love to hear your comments. With that, we will leave it there and we are looking forward to a 1.0 release.